to the last field. It's uh, 100 acres. We're taking uh, two combines and a grain cart, and uh, the other three combines are staying back in Pembroke to uh, finish up a couple smaller fields, and uh, we should meet back at the shop at the same time. So hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be done in a few hours. Hi Big Tractor Power fans, it's the last day of the 2019 corn harvest here in western Kentucky and I'm out in a 2800 acre field with five John Deere S790 combines. These big combines are rated at 543 horsepower and feature 400 bushel grain tanks. Good morning guys. How's it going? Good. Already serviced up and ready to go? Yeah, sir. That's good. Yep. Just a few more acres to go. You're looking at it right there. <laughs> should, should about get it. Not for tomorrow, we'll wrap everything up. Could get it today. Could get it today. I think we get it today. If he sees two on that down there. Yeah, we got to go all the way to Robertson County to get 100 acres. That's a nice trip. A long trip. <laughs> 100 acres. For the hour, hour and a half drive. Hour and a half. As soon as we get to this. Yeah, we should finish this field and then split up and go tackle the small stuff. Get it done. Just in time to hop in a tractor and a disc, right? Maybe we'll wait till Monday. Monday. <laughs> we gotta have a, uh, yeah, I'd like yeah. to have a weekend off. <laughs> I think 10.30 Saturday night would be a good time to yeah, start on the next project. We've done it. <laughs> As these big class 9 John Deere combines finish up the last section of this 2800 acre cornfield, they are finishing off five days of work. They started at one end of the field and now are down to their last few rows of corn. When the field is completed, my friend Matt and another S790 combine are going to pack up and split off from the other three combines and drive about an hour south from Pembroke, Kentucky down into Robertson County, Tennessee near the town of Adams where they're going to finish off the last 100 acres of corn for the season on this farm. You will see Matt unhook the 712C John Deere corn head that he is operating and place it on a trailer and then Matt, another S790 and a John Deere 9420R tractor and Kinsey 1105 grain cart are going to depart from this large field in Kentucky and head down the road to Tennessee to harvest that last 100 acres. Matt filmed the entire road trip and I've taken excerpts of the combines running down the highway through small towns and narrow roads and also have a variety of radio chatter back and forth between the machines as they're traveling. You'll see Matt arrive at the field and hook back on to that 12 row corn header and make the first pass into the field. Stay tuned all the way to the end because then you'll see Matt making the very last pass of corn for the entire season where he'll share how many acres he harvested with the one S790 he operates and then talk about the average yield of all the corn across the 11,000 acres 
the five combines harvested, and you'll also see the fuel consumption of this S790 combine during its three and a half weeks of harvest. So far. 
far, traffic's being pretty nice. People pulling off in driveways. Even our fellow farmers. Shit, all right there. Did you hit all right? <laughs> Golly, man. He just hit a hole up there. I was waving at Sport TV and hit that hole. I thought I'd run over somebody. <laughs> the right side duels and it, it, the combine came off the ground he hit it so hard be, be surprised if he didn't have a lump on the top of his head <laughs> you know ever since we've been uh, shelling corn I've heard Advertisements on the radio for that place right there in Pembroke. You know, they, they call it Rodnicks or whatever. Most traffic at one time ever been to the train.
bottom right there if you can turn in there real good. Hey, I'm stopping around this corner.
taking out the last few rows here of uh, 2019 corn just cut about 11,000 acres in three weeks in a day uh, look at our stats here and see what uh, I got accomplished 2247 acres uh, with an average yield of 214 bushels uh, burned 4,111 gallons of fuel it's, uh, this is it right here the last pass I hope you've enjoyed seeing this farm's last day of the 2019 corn harvest and taking a road trip with Matt down to Tennessee in the combine to harvest the last 100 acres of corn. As soon as Matt parked his combine for the corn season, he hopped into the cab of a John Deere 9420R four-wheel drive tractor pulling a 26-foot Wishig disc, and he and a crew of eight big four-wheel drives headed right back out to the field to disc up all the corn acres they had just harvested to prepare the ground for the 2020 winter wheat crop. I will catch up with Matt and the entire tillage team on the farm to see the fall disking. Until then, I hope you might consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.